Welcome to this all important lesson on calculation of cost of banker's money. To understand this concept clearly, let's use an analogy. Deposits are to banks what merchandise is to a grocery store. In a grocery store you buy merchandise and sell it for such a price that would, not only, ensure a positive contribution margin, but which also pays for the other operating costs and leaves you with a respectable return. But for setting this price, you must know the precise cost of the merchandise you put on sale. Now, banks act in the same manner. They have money as their merchandise. They have got this money from depositors and shareholders. In fact, usually a lot more from depositors than from shareholders. Both types of money come at a cost. So bankers must know the precise average cost of funds in their kitty before they can put this money for sale. Here, we will learn to calculate the weighted average cost of deposits. Continuing with the three types of deposits that we have learned about in the preceding lesson, let's see what each type of deposit costs. You'd remember that banks have current deposits, also known as demand deposits. These are highly liquid and readily withdrawable funds. This is essentially transaction money and bankers, normally, do not pay any interest on this kind of deposit. We will keep a 0% interest rate for the current deposits. Next is savings deposits. This is common men's money. Their salaries, pensions, and small savings. These two, are demand deposits but their ticket size is small and transactions are not frequent. Banks pay a modest return on these deposits. Let's assume the market rate for savings deposits is 3% per annum. Last but not the least, banks have term deposits. Unlike the first two types of funds, these are not demand deposits. These are not readily withdrawable and are, therefore, less liquid. There are no, or very few transactions. Rate of interest paid on these deposits is higher than those paid on savings deposits. This rate varies with the period of time and interest payout conditions. To keep the scenario simple, Let's forget the different terms and varying rates for each term and treat term deposits as one single block and assume a market interest rate of 6% per annum. Assuming the equal share of each deposit type in the total deposits of the bank, that is 33.3% for each type, the weighted average cost of funds will be worked out as follows. Multiply the interest rates offered on each type of deposits by their relative share in total deposits and add the products so obtained. The weighted average cost of funds, in this example, works out to 3% per annum. Detailed notes on calculation of cost of funds along with exercises are provided. Please go through them and also solve the exercises to master this simple concept thoroughly. Our lesson concludes here. Thank you for watching.